Okay, it's uh, Thursday, October 12th, and we're here looking at some stocks that I've previously mentioned. And um, let's take a look first at Wire, Encore Wire Corporation. This stock we had gotten short two days ago. I, th I think the daily chart still looks like it could head lower. But the 10-minute time frame, you can see we got short in here at 34.10 uh, yesterday. And uh, today, I for today's trading, I said that uh, your stop ought to go at 33.65. And we got stopped out of that with a gain of about 45 cents. The overall strength in this market just isn't going to let these stocks get hurt real badly. Although at the end of this video, I'm going to show a couple of examples of why money management is so important in this market. Um, regardless of what the overall trend is doing, there's always going to be a stock that goes counter to what the market's doing. UCTT, I'd mentioned a couple days ago that I was in off of this move right here. I had gotten out yesterday and suggested you raise your stop to underneath this low. The stock is starting to close in on where I think it ought to go to. I think at this point, if you're still in the stock, tighten that up pretty considerably up to about $11.40. But UCTT, great breakout here. It's at all-time highs, but I think it's time to probably... Uh, scoop some of those profits off the table. Uh, BRKR, Brucker Biosciences, broke past the uh, level that we were looking for uh, yesterday at $7.50 to buy it, and that occurred right here. Yesterday, I suggested that you put your stop at break even. Today, I think now uh, for tomorrow's trading, you want to raise that slightly to $7.53. So, in other words, to take all the risk out and put us in a position where if we were to get stopped out there, hopefully it covers commission costs. Real network, this, you know, this is why I don't like. Uh, these big thick stocks because we got stopped out of it again and these stocks that trade so much volume it's tough to trade the way I like to trade which is with nice tight stops um, yesterday uh, we got in at 11.45 right here, and today I suggested uh, that you, you, for today you raise your stop to 11.48. That was stopped out for basically about a break even. I still think this stock looks higher. It's just tough to trade with those you know real tight stops like that. So uh, maybe you want to consider your own type of you know stops on these stocks that trade a lot more uh, shares. Um, Nuvasiv symbol N U V A. Uh, in from yesterday, uh, and I suggested a stop at break even, and now I would say raise that stop again to, let's see, uh, a new vase if we could probably say. You know, I said, you know, yesterday we were looking for the pullback around 2105, then the buy strength. Let's say you bought it right here, didn't get stopped out. I think at this point you can raise your stop to under this level. If you want to be a little bit more conservative, you know, maybe 2165 is the level for Nuvasiv. Uh, focus enhancements, I told you I was involved in this one, held some overnight, I got out of it right about here, and I think that uh, focus enhancements has done what it's gonna do for now, uh, at least from my perspective and what I'm looking to get out of the stock, so I'm not gonna mention that one again. VIMC, yesterday I said, hey, you know, clearing 1210 gives the buyers the control. I said, put your stop at 1225, that 1225 level was not hit today. This low in here was about 1230. So I think now you can raise your stop to about $12.50 a share, uh, hopefully locking in a gain of about uh, 40 cents. And again, the price target on VIMC is $13 a share. So uh, be aware that that is coming up quickly. ALT, ALTI. Last night I had a hard time finding long stocks, and wouldn't you know what the market soars. Uh, but fortunately, that really didn't cost us anything because, uh, except for this one, ALTI. Um, I said buy it above, you know, this level is near this 374, stop at 366, and that's where we got out. I lost money in this stock, too. I thought it was going to go. It didn't. So, um, but as far as the short sales, you know, I kind of concentrated on short sale opportunities, and CCJ was one of those. I said I wanted to see it first rally up to about 35.20. We got that rally, and then short it as it breaks below 35.05. Now, today's low was 35.06, so it never got below that. So was it up? Yeah. And was I wrong? No, because the entry wasn't there. So it didn't cost you anything. It looked like it was going to be weaker, but it wasn't, so no worries. Same thing with Ceridine, symbol CRDN. We wanted to trade this stock on the short side under 41.25. As you can see, it was strong straight from the beginning and probably squeezed a bunch of shorts in there today as it looked set up, but didn't go, so... Uh, from failed moves come fast moves. TTI was another one that we were looking to sell short. We we're looking for a rally up to 23 bucks a share. Got that. But then we were looking for a breakdown to 22.80 to sell uh, weakness below this level. 
That never occurred either. So again, it didn't cost anything. Um, where I also got it dead wrong was the energy stocks. Um, and I, I, I preempted my call on energy stocks yesterday by saying, I'm probably not going to play these because I'm terrible at energy plays. Um, and good thing because XLE, you know, they all gapped up and then just kept going. So enough, enough time looking at those. Um, the thinly traded stocks, and I apologize for getting the symbol wrong on this yesterday. I referenced the right numbers and the right chart, but the symbol was SMTS, Sam, Mary, Tom, Sam. And SMTS, you can see here, was one of those thinly traded stocks. And it did what I expect, you know, what I hoped it would. I got involved with the stock uh, right around in here. I said you could buy it at current levels. And, um, you know, nice rally. So if you're in this one, if you didn't get confused by my... Uh, uh, calling it the wrong thing. I think your stop probably ought to go about twenty dollars and nineteen cents. T F uh, T. I'm sorry. T S E M was a, another thinly traded stock. I said you know look for momentum to build above two bucks a share. That never occurred in this stock. Um, just a, a word about risk. M N C S, for instance. This stock, you know, people have been looking at it. it go, it's been up every single day. This stock doesn't go down, you know, until it does. And when it does, it goes down hard. So all the people who bought this stock, you know, since August, since this rally began, have lost money and wasted their time in a, in a what I consider a non-trustworthy because it's bulletin board stock. So. Um, you know, good reason to stay away from those. But there's a lot of stocks that are getting hit hard. Look at this MEOH today. A couple of, uh, you know, other high flyers that have been hit hard with the Zones Incorporated, Z-O-N-S, S-Y-X. This is Systemax, you know, just getting crushed in here. TRT, another one. The only reason I'm bringing these up is to show you that just because the market's in rally mode and it seems easy to make money on the long side, Defense wins the game. Don't get stuck in these things. Don't believe you think you know more than the market. Honor your stops. The market knows all, and defense wins this game.